about to leave already packing so under the agenda today is to fix up that little dent that we had ready babe ready ready <laughs> We're doing our port lights now in the cockpit. And Ricky is nervous. Helps if you plug it in, huh? We have the security guard watching to make sure no one comes. Welcome to Sating Lady Africa. I'm Ricky, and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. It was a beautiful sunny day here in Cape Town, which resulted in the perfect day to do some outside boat tasks. So under the agenda today is to fix up that little dent that we had on the aft when we hit the dock. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sand it down with some 80 grit sandpaper. Then I'm going to acetone clean it. Then fill up the little gap with epoxy fairing compound. Let that cure. It takes about 8 hours but I'm going to let it get really hot. And then sand it down, prime it and then paint it with a polyurethane top coat. And then we are going to most likely put up our stack pack. We got it redone. Um, someone just did the stitching for us um, on the existing one that Ricky did. So we're gonna put that up and put our main back. And uh, that will probably be the whole day gone. We need to get the boat closer first. No, you're gonna sit off the back. When you realize you don't have all the right tools for the task, you improvise. She's got a little poxy on her. Gotta wait for that cue. What are you doing, Ricardo? I'm seeing, I've got a little o ring leak on this thing. Oh, is that what's dripping me on our deck? Yep. Oh, the fuel tank's dirty. So we need a spare fuel filter, a spare spark plug, BPR6ES. What are you going to do about that seal, mister? Well, I'm going to pull the little valve out and see what's up with the seal. Keep we need jams, huh? What? We need jams. We do need jams. We need jams. Do you want strawberry jam, marmalade, no, apricot, jams. peach? Would you like them in a scone? Ready, babe? Ready, ready? What? <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? That's what you just did. <laughs> so this is the little sucker that's giving us the problems. It's a little valve that you pretty much select storage or fuel. So it's leaking, so we're gonna sort him out. Gonna give him the old good old doctor. Good thing we took it apart, check there. That strainer inside there is full of gunk. So we're gonna clean that out too. While we were at it, Ricky cleaned out our fuel tank as well. And then thought he was Brad Binder winning the MotoGP. See, this part, <laughs> this part just popped out of here, and obviously with that, without that being properly seated in there, it would leak, and I think that's a, what is actually our problem. Our fuel tank and seal was clean, so we could put our outboard back together again. Our stack pack came back after getting some alterations done, such as adding batten pockets. So we put it back again with our main.
<laughs> you think you're a ninja? <laughs> Don't forget to hit subscribe below if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you every time we upload a new episode. And don't forget to like this video, it's a free way you can support our channel. Stack pick, dude. We're doing our port lights now in the cockpit, and Ricky is nervous. Are you nervous, honey? No. Yeah, you are. You just said you're nervous. First, we mark our templates. And then drill a hole that the jigsaw can fit into. Oh. Helps if you plug it in, huh? What gets done on one side needs to get done on the other. Ricky also sanded down the edges of our door. Yeah, well you are sanding plastic. So we're finishing up the port lights and then we got to do our stanchion post, put the accumulator tank in our head and then finish up our holding tank with the gauge, connecting our gauge and strapping down our holding tank. That's what our list is for today. Hopefully we finish it all and then um, more tasks tomorrow. So we've marked it and taped it and then we are going to drill a little tiny hole to the side, put the jigsaw and cut out. Fortunately, they're not going to be precisely the same. This side needs to be slightly higher and a little bit more that way because there's a winch in here and there's the clutches. So when you need to open the louver, there needs to be clearance. And that side I wanted where I can mostly focus on. So we're going to start off by drilling a pilot hole. And this is polycarb, not acrylic. So if I could do it again, I'd probably change these to acrylic. So as you can see, these are not typically the kind of hatches you use in Stolia. These are actually below deck line hatches. They're super reinforced. But sometimes, you guys might know is that your supplier has an end of range or a two, three year stock that's been lying on the shelf. And that's exactly what happened here. Yeah? I walked in, I saw there's these old boxes by them and that they had hatches in them. So I asked them, what are you guys doing with this? He says, no, those are under clearance. We'll probably let them go at less cost or cost and uh, that's how we pick these up on the window and the well on the 
support light. So you actually only need to you only need to snip the real tip, but that tip is hard. So. We opted to prime these windows because the surface area of these port lights were a lot larger than the side. Okay, you gotta finish putting them in. So Ricky's installed the accumulator tank in our head and now we are just strapping down our holding tank and then we'll do the electrical for our gauge. And then that's task three done for today, honey. We're on a roll. On a roll. Strap it down. It was time for some sightseeing as our time in Cape Town is coming to an end. So we decided to head off to Boulder's Beach, known for the large amount of African penguins which hang out around here. So we can't get to the penguins because it's closed and they have the security guard watching to make sure no one comes. <laughs> so much for security. We couldn't see all the penguins, but the scenery around Simon's Town was amazing. The water was crystal clear. We were bummed we didn't pack enough fins and wetsuits, but we will return for sure. It's a Sunday morning still. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Taking some time, coming here to Simon's Town. It's probably one of my favorite towns. I think it's just got like this history to it. It's beautiful. Check out these beaches. Amazing. South Africa is a beautiful place. There's a lot of good things to, to see in this country. And we're enjoying them this morning. This is the way to spend a Sunday. It's relaxing, I'm picking up some shells, checking the beaches out. And it's Where awesome. Got painted. That's See? A cool one, yeah. We're definitely planning to come out for for some diving out here. And not only diving but I think just the normal free dive here will be epic. The viz is insane. We wanted to go have some lunch at Simon's Town's Yacht Club, but unfortunately we weren't allowed in. 
cooking, good looking. Time is town, the club rejected us. They say members of the yeah. So we came and I yeah. love someone's town. I still put it in one of my top spots in South Africa. I love this, even the area around here, we're definitely going to come do some diving here. It's been an epic week, we got a lot of work done, a few more tasks to finish off, not much left and then possibly try and get some time with family before we head, up, head off to Namibia and so the pressure's on, the excitement's going and hopefully we'll be sailing real real soon. Make sure you subscribe below, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next weekend and have an awesome weekend and blessed time to all of you guys. And if you'd like to join our Lady Africa family, don't forget to click on any of the links in the description below. Have an awesome week.